know people who have been through that. Me, yeah. 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 It's people who are privileged enough to like make decisions for us, but they've never been in our situation. I have been in a lot of temporary accommodation, ranging from like actual housing, private renting, hostels, and I've actually been homeless for a long period of time before, like being 18 years old. Housing is the main source of stability for humans, so when stability is taken away or disrupted, it affects your mental health, it affects your social life, your education, everything in between. Our youth centre itself is a port cabin. It's surrounded by luxury flats as well that goes for millions. And this is what young people have to look around all the time. And the issue in our society is when people turn to consumers' products, to socially define them, it really messes with their mental health. Kids in education, if they don't get enough money from their parents, they have to go out and get a job for themselves. So then they don't pay attention to their education, they're too busy stressing out about work, then they've got school as well, they have to pay for their own transport, their own food, their own uniform. You've already got bad mental health because you're stressing out, then you get even worse because people are like criticising you about the way you dress. that we are in a system of dependency. One of the main solutions that would really solve a lot of these problems is funding into youth services where youth workers can reach out to young people. But the youth services are seeing a lot of cuts, so youth participation is reducing and the reach of youth workers is diminishing. So funding into youth services would really help solve the issue, whereas in their life there is a much stability, maybe due to household problems, maybe due to financial problems. Youth centres really provide that stability towards young people.